Louisiana Beer Review's Guinness Original Genuine Quality Stout. Now in some places it's Guinness Original, the two X's, which I think is the double export. Then you have triple export with other beers, something to do with some old timey distribution determination or classification. Anyway, this is from the early 1800s. Uh, 4.2 percent alcohol. This one was brewed apparently or bottled on the 169th day of 2017. Uh, they don't show it, interestingly, they don't show it on the website right now. So 330 milliliter bottle. I was looking at the Guinness uh, English website and the US website and not showing this beer which is strange the Brewers Project there's some videos for the Brewers Project but anyway we never got this here until this variety pack showed up which had the 200th anniversary stout this one the Antwerpen stout that one from 1944 and I don't think that's what it was called at first, I think it was just Guinness, Guinness for Belgium, <laughs> um, but they gave it that name to differentiate it. And they also have the, uh, see, Foreign Extra Style 200th Anniversary, this one, and um, Guinness Extra Style, yeah, the 5.5%. Some places 5.6. Kind of confusing, huh? There's a lot of different Guinness variations around the world. Now this one here, the original, I've seen it even on videos in a big plastic bottle with a twist cap. Um, this is not the nitro. Now the nitro, the Guinness Draft, which comes in a bottle in a nitro can, 4.2%. That's got the nitrous application. That's from 1958. Like Okay, so this one's from around 1810. Very thick, creamy beige head. I should have tilted the glass, like they say on the uh, website, 45 degree angle, then bring it up, but I forgot. <laughs> like they say, it's really not black, it's like a, a ruby red. Uh, to me, it's more like a very dark brown with some red highlights, but anyway. Looks good, very moussey, creamy head. It's got that typical Guinness aroma, that very bready, very malty, bread crust, creamy, <coughs> coffee-like nose, maybe some chocolate. <sighs> it's from those roasted malts. Smells wonderful, looks good. It's not too sweet. It's um, dry, very dry. The finish is so dry, the body's light to medium. You pick up the roasted malts, similar to the aroma. Not burnt, but very dark some cream, maybe even some cherry. You would pick that up a lot more on, the, I'm, I'm sure, the Antwerp and definitely on the Foreign Extra, you know, the seven and a half percent. Really sharp looking label. I've seen some old ads from like 1905, whatever, where it was called Guinness Porter. And it is more like a porter than a stout porter. Honestly, this 4.2. I think it's got that thin, really thin body. But anyway, I suppose the draft is more favorable towards me, or 
I should say I'm more favorable towards the draft because I just like that nitrous a aspect, how it works out the nitro which you can. But I was glad to get this single for only $1.69 at Mathern's. The manager was gracious enough to sell singles, just like he did with the Sierra Nevada Beer Camp around the world. But I, I knew I was going to buy them all, so I just bought the 12 pack. So I would have bought the, the pack for this, but I had already had the Foreign Extra so many times and the Guinness Extra Stout so many times. I didn't want to get a 12 pack just for. <clears throat> well, let's see, it was, it was three, right? Three new ones, so a little mixed up. The original, the Antwerpen, the 200th anniversary, and the Foreign Extra Stout. That's what's in it. Yeah. Those four, I'm pretty sure. I don't think the. The uh, extra stout is in it. And it's got the red, white, and blue app, you know, applique or whatever, the red, white, and blue design on it, 200th anniversary for America, 200th anniversary of being shipped to America. That's what it's about. Well, this is really dry. I mean, it's a super dry. I'm not too sure I love the super dryness. I mean, it surpasses, if you can imagine this, Bud Light dryness. <laughs> oh wow, wow. <laughs> oh, but it's super high quality, I mean. <laughs> it's brewed, they brew stuff to such pinpoint perfection over there at St. James Gate in Dublin, Ireland. It's got to be an A. I mean, it's a 94, 95, you know, solid A. That's the way I look at it. 93 to like 96 would be your solid A. Your most excellent. Then you get up into 97, 98, 99. Now you're into outstanding and then into world class. So I, the way I see world class is like it's above 100. It's even almost better than perfect, which I know is an exaggeration, but it's sort of like how I look at it. It's above and beyond. Well, this is not above and beyond, but it's dynamite in every way. You can see why it's been popular for over 200 yards. So, Les Ailes Bon Temps Relay, a great product, a world famous product, a classic for centuries. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Ooh, can't wait to finish it and do the written review. Thank you very much.